Good morning guys, welcome to Macedonia Ahrid. This town is one of the oldest towns in Europe, and the second oldest town in Europe, full of historical sites and what, most importantly, they have their own breweries and the beer here, my girls. It's so fucking cheap. First thing that I do when I check come in the city, I check the alcohol. And you know what? This is for you guys who takes it. The beer and the wine is extremely... Mm, you can enjoy to the fullest. Secondly, this place is amazing like seriously amazing check this thing out i loved it okay okay the coffee machine so i just have to choose one that i like okay yes uh which one do you think is nice babe? i don't know but you have 20. okay i'm just gonna go randomly oh this side there's jacobs there's jacobs for 20 maximum this one's 25 this is 20. okay so how much we have there 20 20 20 20 okay i'm just gonna try that one okay you just press here yes okay okay this one yes oh that is the level for sugar yes Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I just want to see if the coffee is going to come out or not. Fine. Okay. Bring the Okay. Wow. Like they have coffee in the streets. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> back to the video guys this is my neighborhood like all the place is paved guys and look at those look at the, 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 the kind of plants they have here like every balcony everywhere you go it's fully paved like wearing white sneakers they stay white you know you don't need to worry about washing your shoes or whatsoever there is no dust here you walk like a king you know it's literally an old city of course you can see a lot of buildings you can see a lot of old buildings all over you know you can see a lot of uh, old cars the city is literally the oldest as i already said look at that that's a lot of old buildings like that a lot of old cars like that you can see the century old 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 cars here but hey guys this is one of the most beautiful cities that I have ever been and I loved it. That is their mode of transport. And there is a lot of uh, vast uh, cultures here, guys. You know, you can see in the afternoon a lot of men sitting together, having coffee. It's like a men's party, like with bicycles. <laughs> Jeez, and then there is food, guys. Food, the food is so so different. Like most of their food is with either bread or with the cheese or beans. That is staple food from here. Like you can't eat anything without those trees. The cheese, bread, and beans. Those are the Macedonian staple food and I loved food and I tried everything here and you know what guys the food is mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the bread is so tasty look at that dish oh my god and that that is really 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 nice that was mince and the leaves okay yes then we come back again to the beer thing you know you know i love I, I like a lot you know i'm not gonna just be around the bush and pretend that i'm fine no i love that's me with my beer every day there we go guys mm, this is one of the old towns buildings you know this place like in all european um, cities 
uh, or European countries, there was a lot of wars. There was a lot of wars. Uh, that's the reason why you can find uh, things like the fortress and all these other old buildings done by stones. Listen to that clip. From the Roman times, 2003, 4,000 years old. And the first one was the name? Cadiz in Spain. Cadiz. 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 Ah, oh, okay. This one is the second oldest oh, in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 300 years old, only antique theater. Wow. That was a bit of history from our, our guide, an old guy who is like a um, music or something is with a lot of history in him because he lived here the whole of his life and he was just telling us more about this lake which is like 7 million years old and it's only fresh water, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and the water is extremely clear. You can see that clearly this guy knows what he's talking about because the water is, he told us that the water is from underground so there's no river or anything which is filling it and my god when you look at it, you just want to dive in. You just want to dive in. And with the history attached to it, jeez, you will love to do it. And I was just lucky to be in one of these beaches. Wow. Wow. That place is exotic. And guys, we're coming to the architectural part of it. That is St. John. Theological church, which was built in the 13th century. Imagine 13th century. What a blessing to be here! I'm literally honored. Trust me, God loves me. Oh, and listen, listen to that clip, you will like it. Jesus Christ and all that also original 30th century. Six not that original. Saint George one, two, three, four, five, and six. That was a clip from inside this beautiful Saint John's theological church. I loved it. Just gonna go back to the archaeological part of it. There's just more and more and more to this place. Like there is a lot of Orthodox churches, different kinds. Look at that picture. Look at that. That is so amazing. Like I went to every part of it, and every one of it was different. Guys, this is massive. Trust me. The history attached to this old town this was like an old cinema which was used in the olden centuries like the 17th century and this garden here wow is the top of it it's just above the cinema and it, there's a small little temple that you can for praying guess what i loved this place literally this is amazing I'm going back to the wall guys, literally this is uh, what you call the fortress, it's one of the archaeological uh, sightings also, you need to come and see this. So these guys built this to protect their people, like when it was wartime, they would put all their people inside here and then the, you know, the soldiers, they were the army, will sit around this place and then protect what they have or protect their city. So this is a uh, you know, it's, it's not a rare sighting in Europe. You'll definitely see it in different cities, but in different shapes. But all of them are mostly built like this. This is like in the built in the 17th, between the 17th and the 18th century. So wow, guys, this is a masterpiece of history. I am so fucking blessed. Now I'm gonna summarize the whole concept or the whole you know, overall thing about this place. Guys, this is an amazing place to visit. I highly, highly, highly recommend it and I 
highly double recommended guys it's an amazing place and it's extremely 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 beautiful extremely beautiful and extremely cheaper to travel in it you know what you will have the most time of your life from being in the city to being in doing all the extortion to being in the lake to enjoying yourself you don't break your pocket you do not do that it is so fucking cheap guys i had a great time and i'm looking forward to seeing you on the other side for sure we're gonna keep going this is just our first country together and you know what life has to move on and for sure we're definitely gonna do that and one thing let's forget cheers to good living drink it and have fun all the time love you peace out